a debate about the 1872 Cavite Mutiny. Before we start, let me discuss some information about what the Cavite Mutiny is all about. The Mutiny of 1872 was an uprising of military personnel of Fort San Felipe, the Spanish arsenal in Cavite in the Philippines, on January 20, 1872. For all Filipinos, the 12th of June has been a significant date since 1898. The Philippines Independence Day is commemorated on this particular day by the whole Filipino population as well as Filipino communities around the globe. As crucial as 1896, the Philippine Revolution began as a result of the Filipinos yearning to be free from the atrocities of the Spanish colonial regime. 1898 became a very critical year for all of us. Although another year, 1872, is just as significant in history as the first two. The 1872 Cavite Mutiny and the deaths of Father Mariano Gomez Jose Burgos and Jacinto Zamora, three martyr priests, were the two important events that occurred in 1872. Not all of us were aware that various reports of the same event existed. The execution of Gomburza, which unintentionally had a significant role in the emergence of nationalism among Filipinos. Another terrible but significant event that all Filipinos must be aware of. When we say mutiny, ito ay pag-aalsa o pag-aaklas. This topic is very important because there is no such 1896 revolution if the 1872 Cavite mutiny did not happen. Therefore, in this discussion, we will discuss what occurred during the time and attempt to grasp both sides' point of view, the Filipino and the Spanish, while also highlighting what transpired at that time. Now, let me introduce to all of you our debaters. From the proposition side or the Filipino perspective, let us all clap our hands together for Mr. Maverick Wayne Arias. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat na manonood. From the opposition side, the Spanish perspective, let us give it up for Mr. Mark J. Flores. Hello, good day to all. As this debate's moderator, I only want to make sure that both sides are aware of the need for accurate and reliable information and that your statements will only contain the truth and facts. Again, I am Angel Cojoyes, your moderator for this debate. Now, we can finally start the debate and hear both sides on the Cavite mutiny. Which side will you believe? Ang mga Pilipino nga ba o ang mga Espanyol? May I call on Mr. Arias from the Filipino perspective? I now give you the time to speak. Good day everyone. Again, I am Wayne Arias from the Filipino perspective. Hindi rason ang aking pagiging Pilipino upang pumanig ako sapagkat alam naman natin ang pananakop ng bansang Espanya ay nagdulot ng labis na pananakit paghihirap sa mga Pilipino ang mga hindi makatarungang pamahala gaya ng pagtanggal ng mga pribleyo at pangaabuso ay naging, naging dahilan upang matutong lumaban ang mga Pilipino A Filipino account of the bloody incident in Cavite was written by the Filipino scholar and researcher Dr. Trinidad Hermeni Gildo Pardo de Tavera According to him, the incident was just a simple revolt by the local Filipino soldiers and workers at the Cavite Arsenal who were upset that their privileges has been eliminated. Tavera indirectly attributed the problems to Governor Isque Erdos' cold-blooded actions, including the elimination of the privileges enjoyed by the native 
army members and workers at the arsenal and the ban on the establishment of the Filipino schools of the arts and trades which the general believed was a cover for the formation of a political club. Now, tell me, how you can claim that the Spanish are the ones who are telling the truth? Mr. Flores from the opposite side, you may now answer. Good day everyone, I am Mr. Margis Flores and I stand with the Spanish side. Yes, it was reported that the elimination of the advantages enjoyed by the cafeters and workers was the main cause of the revolt. The fundamental motivation, however, was not the removal of privilege like not having to pay tribute or being spurred from the forced labor, but rather the Filipino desire to be free from the Spanish colonizers. Nung panahon na yun, hindi may pagkakailang na may problema sa circularization na kung saan may mga suri na rin kinakarap sa simbahan. Governor General reported to the King of Spain that the rebels wanted to overthrow the Spanish government to install a new Harry like uh, Father Gomez Burgos and Zamora. As from the Spanish perspective, naging depensa lamang ang pagpatay sa tatlong pari laban sa propagandang ginagawa ng mga Pilipino noong panahon na yun. Jose Montero Yvigal provides narration in the Spanish version of the Cavite Mutiny of 1872. His narrative is predicated on the premise that the tragic incident of the January 20, 1872 was caused by the coordinated effort of angry Cavite arsenal workers and native soldiers who were full rebelled against Spanish rule and were as a result guilty of seditation and rebellion. Thank you for a very interesting story about the Spanish view, Mr. Flores. Now, let us hear again from the Filipino perspective. Ang mga Pilipino noong panahon na iyon ay nagtatrabaho at naglilingkod ng maayos sa ilalim ng pananakop ng mga Kastila. Alam naman nating lahat na maraming Indyo o mga Pilipinong walang alam at laban. Ang Gumbulza ay ang mga tatlong paring Pilipino na ang layunin lamang ay magbigay alam sa mga Pilipino ng kanilang mga nararapat na kaalaman bilang mga Pilipino. Ngunit, ano nga ang ginawa ng Espanyol? Pinatay nila ang tatlong pari dahil gusto nilang manatili ang mga Pilipinong mangmang tama ba ang kanilang ginawa? Ito ba ay nakatao? Makatarungan sa mga Pilipino. Alam naman natin lahat na sinakop tayo ng mga Espanyol at nasa ilalim tayo ng kanilang pangangalakad noong panahon na yun. At the same time, ay dumarami na rin ang mga liberal thinkers sa Pilipinas na kung saan ang mga Pilipinong ito ay nabibigyan ng pagkakataon upang makapag-aral sa Europa at naging dahilan sa pagkabukas ng mga isipan at pagkamulat sa katotohanan. Tagdag pa rito, ang mga paggarote sa tatlong pari ay hudyat lamang ng mga Espanyol para ipakita sa mga Pilipino na itigil na ang kanilang mga binabalak na pag-aalsa. Bilang mga Kastila, hahayaan na lang ba nilang makawala ang mga Pilipino sa kanilang kamay sa pamagitan ng pag-aaklas na kanilang mga plinano? Kaya nga sila tinawag na mananakop for a reason na ang isang bansa ay maging kanilang pag-aari. It seems like this debate will bring us realization and it is honestly hard for me now to decide. Let's continue to hear the last statement of both sides. We have been colonized by Spain for three centuries. Many have suffered and died. They may have helped and influenced us in some ways, but it would never change the fact that they made the Filipino slaves. And I am Wayne Arias, and I stand firmly on the version of my own race. And I am thank you. The implication of the reports by Vidal and Esquerdo was that the uprising an attempt to overthrow the Spanish government. Esquerdo claims that the Filipino clergy is specifically responsible for the uprising in an effort to promote circularization. 
the overthrow of the circular throne in Spain during Spanish Revolution, the unchecked media's dissemination of immoral propaganda, books with liberal, republican, and democratic ideas, as well as the encouragement of floating of native priests to replace the Spanish friars were among the additional factors that they added. Again, I am Mr. Margis Flores and I stand firmly with the Spanish perspective. Thank you. The mutiny may have a number of versions from both sides. But one, this is for sure. It has been a gateway to a number of events that led to the Philippine independence in 1898. We have just heard and witnessed the perspective of both sides the Filipino and the Spanish perspectives. Now, the question is, which side will you believe? <laughs>